All right, welcome. So I'm uh, Darren Bell. I'm going to be helping you with uh, the section uh, six uh, part of the case study for TAD Gaming Services LLC. And so what this is going to be is we're going to be uh, downloading and working with uh, bank transactions and credit card transactions. So we'll go ahead and begin by uh, finding our bank transaction file so that we can download that and uh, so we can work with that. So we'll click first on uh, the left side of here. It's called banking. Okay, so what that's gonna show us here real quick is, is um, you have the option to actually connect your accounts and have it automatically updated from your bank if you wanna do that. Or you can upload transactions into your bank account. So we can do that here. Uh, we can also go to uh, the top right here on the gear icon and we can also import data right there under the tools uh, options and then we can uh, do the import for our bank data so both of these are the same thing so what we're gonna do we're gonna click on that and we need to go find our bank data we're gonna um, we're gonna import into that so that's gonna be out on canvas uh, this is our uh, bank import for our checking. So we're going to do this one first. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, click on this link here and we'll see I'm using the Chrome browser. We'll see it come up here. So that's right there. That is, um, I know that's in my downloads folder. So that's going to be in there. So I can go back to my bank transaction. I can select and, and browse for this file in downloads, for example. There it is right there. And so there's there's my checking transactions, so I can do that. Or I can, if I've got it, I can drag and drop it in there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And so this one specifically for my checking account is where I'm going to be importing this in. Uh, there's also, we're going to do later, we're going to do some credit card transactions. So at that time, I select credit card. Right, and we'll, we'll walk through that. Um, and so what we're going to be doing here is, um, so our first line is a header, so we'll say yes on that. Uh, how many columns show amounts? So there's going to be one column that show that shows amounts on that. But we can look back here at our file and see that, right? So here is our header right there, right at the top. Here is our header, um, and then the one uh, column that shows amounts is going to be this one right here over on the far right that's our spent column so we're going to go back uh day format of my file is going to be this one right here uh the top one on on there so it's going to be two um two digit month two digit day and four digit year right there and then we're going to go over here and we're going to make sure these match up so our date yep that matches up description there we go our amount is actually going to be called spent right there and then we're going to click continue and here is all the information that is going to be imported in right we see that there so we're going to go ahead and click on the box there to select every all right so we've got it all set and so we just need to go down to the bottom and hit continue 18 transactions that's perfect that's what we want we'll click yes in that and import is complete. Okay, so what we'll see, and this is through, again, through the banking, right? As we go into banking, we'll see this is our checking account. It says it has 18 transactions out there uh, for us to uh, basically reconcile. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each one of these and kind of look at them as we go down and we're really reconciling them so we can post them. Make sure everything looks correct. So I'm going to click on this one. This is the bank balance. So it's uh, really it's just our bank charges and fees. That's in the correct category. Uh, we've got our vendor, our payee in this case, right? So our payee is going to be the vendor customer. And so it looks like we have all that straight there. Um, uh, we can also go, I guess one thing to recognize here is that um, uh, there is actually in the student guide there is a list of all these transactions right and so um, one thing that you uh, can do 
is you can actually go down the list and make sure that you have them all uh, lined out and straight. Uh, but they're going to start at the bottom. Uh, they're going to start at the bottom here. Okay. Uh, we can we can switch that as well, right? We can flip that by hitting the date here, so that'll flip it over. And so we got our uh, and that'll match the list that we have in the student guide as well. So let's go ahead and go down through here. Okay, so we got campaign marketing, right? So that looks good. Once we hit add, then that is going to be posted, right? So that'll be a, a live transaction and it'll be posted up into there. Uh, there's no check to add or anything to that. That is complete. So we'll hit add there. Okay, we'll keep going right down the list here. So we've got that lined out. Our financial services is going to be, so it says ask my accountant, this one we'll have to update here. So we'll, we've got to make sure that this is uh, for uh, right here. It's going to be professional services accounting. Right there. There we go. There we go. And we can add that now. So we're going to go down through here and really you're rec reconciling this. So I'm going to go ahead and just go down through and I'll speed up the video and you can kind of, if there's anything else that comes up as I go through here, I'll stop it, slow down and, and you can see what it is. Okay, so this one right here, this is a transfer, right? So all the transfers, we're going to transfer them specifically, uh, well, this is going to be savings, right? We also have the credit card. So our credit card payment will be in here as well. And that'll impact our credit card. Um, and, but this is, this transfer here will impact our savings account is what's going to happen there. So we're going to transfer that. This is going to be transferred to our savings right here. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and add that. So make sure you get the right place it's going to because it'll be wrong to begin with. So we have to make sure that that is correct. So this, sometimes when you're working through these, this uh, will pop up. So this is a rule that's saying, hey, we've noticed you've done a couple of these um, with campaign marketing. For example, this one is, is campaign marketing. And, we, and you usually put stuff from campaign marketing into the advertising and, mar uh, and marketing account. So is that something you want to do? Uh, make sure not to do auto ad. That's going to be a bit of a problem. You can do it as you become more familiar with accounts and working with businesses. If that's something you want to do is use the auto add function. It could save you time. Uh, it could potentially lead to problems so you'll have to reclassify things. So just know that and um, hopefully that will help you, right? So so make sure if you do this, don't do auto add for sure. sure. Okay. So we can we can create the rule but not with auto add is is what I would suggest. If you don't want, if, if it pops up an example like this and you don't want to add the rule, then just uh, go ahead and close it out, exit out. Okay, so we're now set with that. So we have all those cleared out. So we don't have any more that are for reviewed. Uh, the, what, where they go, once we review them and add them in, they're going to go into this categorized section, right? So we can actually see them. If we make a mistake, we can go back and we can undo them and, and kind of recategorize if we uh, make a mistake and want to uh, change, make a change there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're actually going to do the bank reconciliation for this one. So the bank reconciliation is going to be, there, there's two places to go to it. The bank reconciliation, there's two places. We go down to accounting and reconcile, or we can go up to our gear icon and go under the tools and select reconcile. So same place, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, it's click get started. We're not gonna do uh, this option. We're gonna say maybe later. Okay, so here's our uh, checking right here. So beginning balance is gonna be zero. My ending balance is actually gonna be uh, 25,553. And the ending date will be uh, at the end of January. So it'll be January 31st, 2025. And then we can go ahead and hit start reconciling. So here we go. We're, we're starting things up here. Uh, and we are not 
reconciled yet. And so there's a few things that we need to select on here. Go ahead and select the rest there, and we see that uh, we're, we are one dollar off. Okay, so our statement ending balance. So, so this is a good um, this is a good uh, learning tool, right? So, what happened here is I I entered my data in correctly. So I can go up here to edit info up at the top. And I can see, sure enough, here I entered that balance incorrectly, so it should have been 53. Save it, and there we go. So we just fixed that. So if if you do have, if you entered the data in incorrectly and to begin with, you might want to go edit your info and and check right there to see if there was any problems with entering the correct ending balance and date. Okay, so we, it looks like we got all that now set. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select. Um, finish now so this one is just for January right this is just January information okay we're gonna go done and it's gonna move on to the next one so the next one for the next month what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in the the correct information again um, 47,606.75 and then this one this is gonna be the end of February so this is February 28th 2025 there we go okay now we're gonna start reconciling for February so we're gonna do this month by month so I don't need to show this again here get rid of those okay so now um, I'm gonna go ahead and select all and sure enough we reconcile again we're matching up the cleared balance with the statement ending balance with the beginning balance and the number of payments and the number of deposits we got on there. So everything matches up, we're looking good with our example. So we'll go ahead and select finish now. Okay, this will be done. And then we're gonna move on to uh, the last month here, which is March. So March, we're gonna have, uh, this is our ending balance is 1,700, oh, whoops, it's actually 51,799.75, and our ending date is going to be March 31st, 2025. So all of these that were um, not selected were things I added before. So they didn't come necessarily from the bank. Those are ones that I entered in before uh, with either journal entries or you know entered them in through the system somehow. So that all is gonna work out. So this looks good. Uh, everything matches and I'm gonna go ahead and click finish now. So I am done with my checking reconciliation. Now I can switch over to my savings. There's savings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up, I'm going to do January again, then February, then March. So the ending balance for this one is going to be 76,000. Ending date is January 31st, 2025. Uh, there are no, so I'm not going to enter any service charges or interest earn on that. There we go. So that's the, what that very first one looks like. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select everything. Select all. And then it balances. I'm looking up here at my difference and, and we reconcile. Okay, we're going to go on to the next one. This one's going to be 77,000. Uh, our ending date is going to be February is what we're going to do this time. There we go. There's that one. So it's just one transaction transfer in, and we're able to finish February for our savings account. And then the last one is going to be March. That's going to be 78,000. March 31st, 2025. We're able to reconcile that. Again, that's just adding the, the next transfer for the next month on there. That all reconciles. All right, so we reconciled our checking 
and our savings. And really the main goal with reconciling is just to make sure that we have everything uh, accounted for related to cash in the bank, right? The bank recount, any transaction that comes in. So we do this at least on a monthly basis, reconcile our accounts. So the next one we're gonna do here is gonna be for our uh, credit cards. And so uh, that will be um, another uh, video that I'll do. So I'll do the credit card one separate from this. So we will see you on that credit card video when you're ready to do that.